friends, we're going to be doing another comic book haul for you guys today. Um, we have been purchasing comic books once a month. Um, hopefully that's going to start being maybe every other week type of thing. So I have quite a few different comic books to go through today. Um, and Hops here is going to help me out a little bit. She's letting me borrow her, her tree hut. So I'm going to start with the comic book series that I get and ones that... Um, I've, I've been collecting for a little while now. Okay, so to start off, I got um, issue number four of Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, and that is The Big Lie. Um, I, I still haven't gotten a chance to start this one yet, but I'm really excited about it. I also got issue number four of The Power of the Dark Crystal, and this is four of 12. Okay, I got, I believe this is issue number six of The Blind uh, Banker from Sherlock. And then this is issue number 12 of The Flintstones. And then finally, for the ones I've had, this is issue number two for the Powerpuff Girls series. Um, this is the, tie, uh, the Time Tie. And this is one of the series that I'm collecting so I can do a comic book club at school. Okay, now to move on to the ones that I purchased for the very first time. So these are all um, issue number ones. Um, I got uh, Star Wars Star Wars Droids Unplugged. And this one basically is a series that has like a bunch of different little short stories from different droids. So um, there's a short story in there for R2. There's a short story in there for um, uh, BB-8. And then this guy right here, he also has a short story. I don't know his name, though. It doesn't exactly tell you. <laughs> it just has them making their regular little sounds. All right. Um, the next one that is a number one is Batman and Elmer Fudd. Um, I just couldn't pass this one up. I enjoy Batman. I enjoy Looney Tunes. So I decided to get this one. And the concept behind it is actually pretty neat. Um, basically, they're in the same world. So all of the Looney Tunes characters are now people. So you have Bugs Bunny is a real person with Bugs Bunny's voice and habits. You have um, Foghorn Leghorn is, the sa is a person but has the same voice and habits. So um, this one primarily focuses around Batman, Elmer Fudd, and Bugs Bunny, but the other characters are in there too. So um, it's pretty interesting. All right, so the next one that we have is the first issue of Clue, and I'm not sure how many of these are going to, how many of these that they're going to be, but I have uh, went ahead and read this one, and um, it's a pretty interesting concept. It gives you all the characters from the get-go, and they sort of break that fourth, uh, what they call it, the fourth wall through the um, butler in the story. So the butler in the story will occasionally uh, make remarks toward you. And uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting uh, way of writing the comic. Um, so that one I've read and it's pretty neat. And then finally we have another one that I've gotten for um, uh, my kids' uh, comic book club at school. Again, I don't know for sure that I'm going to get to do it yet, but I'm hoping. But this one I thought was just too good to pass up. It's Kid Sherlock. And I've read this one already as well. And basically you have Sherlock Holmes, this little boy right here. And this is John Watson, who is new to school. So John Watson is a dog in this. And they go to Baker Elementary. It's just too cute. And they're solving puzzles um, or cases that are happening in school. This one has to do with a, um, with a smell in the classroom. Um, so anyway, I thought this was a pretty neat one. Okay, uh, next I'm going to go over the comic books that Wayne has been getting. Um, again, I'm going to start with the ones that are part of series that he already has and then go into his new purchases. So, um, this one here, the x Origins, it actually says that this is an issue number one. But I thought we already had this one. Hmm. It's, a, it's a new story on the same series. Gotcha. So, it's sort of like my Sherlock Holmes go. Correct. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Never mind the confusion. So, this is Dog Days of Summer and it's... Um, x Origins, issue number one. Okay, then we have the Star Trek Boldly Go, um, and this is issue number nine. So, as you can tell, that was all that Wayne got this month. I have like ten comics probably, and Wayne got two. But luckily, just the other day, um, 
this one came out, which is a new one that he's going to be getting, and that is um, Rick and Morty, and this one is called Pocket Like You Stole It. And um, this is going to be a mini series. I believe they said there's going to be five in this series, and so this was issue number one. And Wayne has been really into Rick and Morty lately, so I know without a doubt that he's probably going to be ripping this open in a little bit and reading it. <laughs> Um, so we were really excited about that. I sort of wish it was more than just a mini series, but at least it's something, right? So um, that does it for our comic book haul for this month. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll get to do these maybe bi-weekly because we're going to be making more trips to the comic book store. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.